if we want to compare quantities, we need to be able to convert them to, frac to a fraction and then to a percentage. Okay, so let's look at that. So step one, we're going to write it as a fraction and then we're going to multiply the fraction by 100, so we're converting our fraction to a percentage. So what percentage is 10 of 50? So it's going to be 10 over 50 times by 100. So the key is make a fraction, then change it to a percentage by times in by 100. Okay, so 50 and 50 is 1, 50 and 100 is 2, 10 times 2 is 20%. Okay, alternative, alternatively go to your calculator, 10 divided by 50 times by 100. Okay, five months of two years. Now these are in different units, so we're going to have to change that two years to 24 months. So 2 times 12. So here it's going to be 5 over 24 times by 100. Now I wouldn't be doing this by hand. I'd go straight to my calculator and go 5 divided by 24 times by 100 and I get, it's an approximate answer, approximately 20.83% and I've just rounded to two decimal places. If you're going to round to one decimal, so sorry, the nearest whole number be 21%. Okay, next, $36. Of $36 is 60 cents. Now note this is written the other way around. Is five months of two years? This is of $36 is 60 cents. So first of all, I need to change that $36 into cents. So that's going to be 3,600 cents. So it's going to be 60 over 3,600 times by 100. I'm going to cross off some zeros, okay. 60 divided by 36 straight to my calculator. And again, it's an approximate 1.67%, or to the nearest whole number, would be 2%. Again, you could have just gone straight to your calculator here and gone 60 divided by 3,600 times by 100, and you would have got the same answer.